Aries, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. We do the full oracle card spread here. And then there's an extended link below for the full tarot card extended and romance. If you are on platforms that allow for commercial interruptions, I'm going to let you know when the one included in this video is going to come up so it will not interrupt the message. So do not worry. Aries, this is for you, sun, moon, rising, or any place where Aries influences your natal chart. You can apply these energies for the week ahead. Aries, 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 Aries. There's something up. There's something up that you're not talking about. You're keeping it to yourself and I think it's because you're worried about something being true that you may not want it to be true or something unsettling emotionally that you're not willing to talk about yet. Two of my bestest, bestest friends are Aries and I love them so much and I just wish, wish, wish they were okay being a bit more vulnerable. But that's just my Cancerian gushiness, you know? Um, but there's definitely something... There's something, there's something, something brewing. There's something up. And I don't know. If my girls are watching, I just want you to know this is a safe place. I love you unconditionally. And in no way, shape, or form am I going to judge you at all. There's no way. Um, like I said, beyond that, I don't know what's going on. And I'm, I'm interested in reading the cards. I just know, I just know that something is up. Like something... There are signs that something is happening beneath the surface that hasn't been discussed yet. In Aries, you can be very, very private. You like to keep what's going on in, in your heart very close to your heart. And opening up is not something that you like to do. You also don't like to fester or sit or focus too much on the hurt. You like to focus on how you're going to move on, you know, what your future looks like and how you're going to get things done and... Yeah, just continue on. You're just that perpetual stream of progress, which is so much what I admire about you. There is this sense, though, that you need to talk. You need to talk. And I know there's at least one person in your life that you can open up to. And I really, really hope you do. So let's get into your Oracle card reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or other placements. For the week ahead week ahead for aries sun moon rising week ahead for aries sun moon rising or any placements any placements any placements in your chart remember especially those interior planets venus mercury mars are your moon sign wherever your moon sign is but we already go, went over that sun moon rising in aries or any of your aries placements any of your aries placements you are never alone. Gosh, how perfect. This is a crowning energy. There's this other hidden energy. Listen, I will definitely flip the camera around so that you can see the cards. But this is the energy. There was an energy that was laid flat that popped out first. And it popped out on the opposite side from everything. And I know that this is a crowning energy. But it's also, there's like something hidden. And then there's something revealed. And that is... That you're, you need love. Maybe this is a very romantic period for you. And maybe that's what you're not really wanting to share with anybody right now is this sense of vulnerability and this sense of could I be falling in love or am I falling in love or do I want to open up my heart? Is my heart safe? There's a sense that you're protecting your own vulnerability this week. You are never alone. What did I say when I opened up this reading? Aries, you are never alone. And I know you're the last people on earth that like to be coddled or treated like a baby. But gosh darn it, if you need a shoulder to cry on, you deserve one too. And you should allow it for yourself. And I know so much that you try to hold on and handle everything in your, in your own space. And I don't think it's about control. I think it's about not wanting to be hurt and, and not wanting to let any hurt get to you or stop you. I just think it's because you have a very progress-based mind. And then it's admirable, but you need some tenderness and love this week. And there's a sense of vulnerability here for your heart space. This also could be, for at least some of you, that there is 
a romance growing. And remember, your romance reading is down below. <laughs> I know. Hey, what a what a used car salesman, right? Um, so this isn't a romance specific reading, but when this card comes out, I can't deny that this is the sense this week of touching on your heart space, this space, this place in your heart, more than a heart chakra, that emotion that runs all through your body that needs to be a part of somebody else, that wants to be in love with somebody else and feeling that maybe this week or you feel like something could be happening. There's a, there's a new fire or a new connection that could be something that's really just that you could meld yourself into, but you're not wanting to, you're not feeling that secure with it or safe with it. There's something else that's impeding it. And this is why I've kept this card. Ooh, I wanna see what it is. A rebirth is assured. Now this is very Scorpionic energy and we are at the final week of Scorpio season. And it's really, this final week of Scorpio season for a lot of signs and a lot of my readings has been very, very benevolent. It's almost like the best of Pluto and the best of Jupiter. And Pluto and Jupiter don't really see eye to eye a lot, but it's almost like there's this mentality this week that's really benefiting a lot of signs and you're one of them because there's a real renewal in your sense of heart space this week. It's almost like for the first time in a long time, you feel, I feel, feel, I feel, I feel, I feel. For the first time in a long time, I feel like I'm allowed to feel without being afraid of getting hurt. In other words, I might be in a space that is actually safe. This could also speak to the resurrection of um, a love, a loved one, a love, a love, a love, a romance situation, a romantic situation. We are closing in on the last couple of days of Mercury retrograde. So, um, you know, this may or may not be a good thing. I, I don't know. All these cards coming out seems like it's a very warm, positive thing. So I don't think it's necessarily a person specific person, but it's new love. It's new love coming into your life or you finally getting to a place where you feel safe to be able to love again. Oh, wow, this is really breakthrough energy and it's so warm and tender and maybe that's what you're trying to hide. Like you don't want to talk about it yet because you just don't, because it's precious. Like it's, it's something that you still want to protect. And I get that. I understand it. And I hope that it, it, it I, yeah, I hope that I just hope for the best, you know, and, and, and as a re as a friend, but as a reader, this looks real good, guys. It really does. Of course, there's other cards out on the table. So if you were on platforms that allow for commercial interruptions, I'm going to sneak one in right now. And I'll be back in about 30 seconds. Okay. There's something to this. There was like, this could be a rebirth of a situation with like a, like a reemergence. I don't see this as an X returning. Okay. That's something that I want to make very clear because this is new love. But this is also a change in your perspective of love. This is a change in love in general. In general, it's a different kind of love. So this is new love. So it's not somebody from the past returning back to your life. It is something happening that almost died inside of you. There is a space that almost felt numb. And for the first time in a long time, the numbness is gone and you feel again. It's like your heartbeat started after a long time. And at first you were like, that was the discomfort. You were like, wait, what, 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 what's happening in my chest? You had put a stall on your heart and kind of frozen it down, stalled it out for a while because you really did not want to trust in certain circumstances or situations. But there now is a situation that is coming and has thawed that ice and is is still very tender for you. It's still very tender. Um, tr wow, this is definitely new love. Truth transcends illusion. This is truth coming out. And I think it has to do with somebody who recently broke your heart or who broke your heart, yeah, relatively recently, but recently can be up to a year ago. It's, it's, it's finally them speaking the truth and finally them letting you understand what happened. And maybe that becoming sort of a vindication for you to feel better about yourself and, and, and let go of, hold on a second. 
and not wanting like like um try, like not wanting to this it has an energy of somebody not wanting to admit what they really felt but now the truth is out is something that you needed to know you know what this would translate to esoterically it is finally being able to break out of a space that was based on illusion but in terms of the 3d world it's learning the truth it's actually being served up i would say quantifiable evidence or a, a, a blatant statement of this is what really happened this is what really went on and i think that you really needed that information to heal because as long as that kind of sat outside of you it was like a pressure on you that was dulling and numbing all of your nerves. It had to because if if you didn't numb your nerves, you would be crying and hurt and just like depressed and, and suffering a great deal. But there was this kind of enigma in the sky that you did like that you needed answering and you weren't getting those answers. But those answers came to you. They come to you this week. They come through or they've come through to you recently and this week is all about being able to bloom and blossom and open up in ways that you would shut yourself down. It's almost like the truth has set you free this week. This is also scorpionic energy. You may be dealing with a Scorpio or it's just honestly Pluto. It's Pluto and the end of score the tail end of Scorpio season opening up those doors and making that big old crack and pathway through to help you move on surrender now this is what it is oh this is really beautiful energy for you this is sagittarius energy so you're moving into a space of happiness acceptance and love you're moving into a space of you can finally breathe again you're moving into a space of i never thought that i would feel this release and this relief you're moving into a space of being able to cry and feel a hurt that you had kept on the back burner because it wasn't safe to feel it. And almost like you refused to feel it because there were too many questions around it and you maybe have held on to a little bit of hope, a little bit of hope that in a, in a certain circumstance, but this information, even if it ended that hope, it was almost like that hope was nothing more than like, uh, something like a like like cement shoes at, at the bottom of the ocean it it was it was it was it was tethering you when you really needed to come up for air and and breathe again and now you can finally do that this is also moth to flame energy but i don't really see that because i see a mirror here in those things that can fly and can fly like fly up and 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 life life and energy again oh i think you have finally emerged from the underworld and this week it's almost like you aries coming back to life wow oh hold on aries aries energy aries sun moon rising energy for this week too much 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 Okay, this is going to stay because it's not too much, but there was, and once again, this is six. This is six energy. Four and two adds up to a six, and this adds up to a six. This means a secure, stable relationship, and you may not have actually, let me explain. Aries, six in the tarot card is the lovers, so it is a number of divine coupling, and so you have two numbers here, divine coupling, a six and a six. There is a mentality and a sense of you finally have a foundation. You finally have a foundation to love again, be loved again, be in love again, or this relationship that you are in is going to its next level. So there are some of you who may be getting an engagement ring this week. And I've, been, I've just been feeling that energy for you guys for a while. But there is a leveling up or building a house together, breaking ground together, um, going and looking at an apartment or a home together, decide, deciding to move in together and build a home. Something to do with an actual structure, something that's actually being built between the two of you for the two of you, the two of you building a home. So it also could imply in some ways 
Um, you may be also building a family or starting a family this week. So maybe some babies are going to be born. If you wanted to know the birth date, time to heal. Oh. Something affected you a great deal. It had to do with your home. And there's a lot of death and rebirth. So it could have had to do with a great loss. I don't want to say actual death, but there... We went through these a couple of months ago, Aries. So some, uh, many of you did experience an actual death in your, in your life. And this, and I think what this is telling me is that there was a sense of numbness ever since that time. There was a sense of shock, shock that you had to get through. But this is the renewal of, or even selling your house, maybe redoing your house and getting your house set up so that you can sell because you're finally ready to move on. This is definitely being able to walk away from the past, be playful again. Mm, and that's five, five. That's this change. Being able to be playful again. Your, your life has come back to you this week. This is on the surface. It's not, you're not dragged underneath. Maybe you've gone away with your lover or you've gone away and you've taken a retreat so that you can get back to being you and feel you again. You've gone someplace or you're going someplace this week where you just can sort of almost revitalize yourself. Um, like a retreat or uh, just a vacation. Sure, you could be sitting on a Caribbean island and drinking margaritas, and getting drunk all that. Whatever it is, it's you just being able to allow yourself to be shallow for a second. And by a second, I mean basically all week. The energy has lifted. Think about, because this is all heat returning back to your body. And thinking about, think about what heat does, like to a hot air balloon. Aries, you're on the rise this week. You're rising. The heat is making you rise. And it is such a beautiful energy because you've been too, too heavy. Um, claim your independence. Wow. So for some of you, this is you um, getting out of an old relationship and find, that's what I was reading at the beginning, to be honest with you, it's getting out of an old relationship and finally being able to put it to rest because you've gotten in the information that validates what you needed to know to really be able to let this person or this circumstance go. So maybe it is a job, whatever it was, it claimed your heart space and it had to do with something that was very meaningful to you and you're finally being able, that's what you're claiming your independence from. If not literally claiming your independence from another person that you were tethered to and it just wasn't working out. Let spirit be your guide. You're returning to faith. Transformation is beautiful. You have all three transformation cards on this table right now. This week is your rebirth into life. You are coming out of the underworld. I, I'm literally, you are literally riding on the beautiful orb of Jupiter out of the underworld, out of a, a, a time of death, of being cold and feeling alone or isolated or even mourning or fear. You are coming out. You are coming out. Believe in yourself. You're planting seeds for the future. And once again, this is Virgo energy. This is either... Something that has been growing for quite some time is finally bearing fruit and you can eat its sweet rewards or you're just now planting the seeds for a new home with somebody or a, a new your new life because you finally have the faith, you finally have the feeling that when you, if you plant here, you finally found, excuse me, the place where your tree can take root and you'll be able to blossom and grow again. I think that for the longest time you were looking at a wasteland, like in your heart, something had weight laid waste to your heart and you needed to sort of heal and clean up the muck. That was that oil spill. And it took a long time, but now is that week where you, you finally found someone to plant your seed in, like I said, actual pregnancy or, or it is that time you finally found the place to plant your seed. It's, it's come about. And look, I just, let me turn the camera around. Hold on. And there you have it, Aries. One, two, three.
Every single one of them is coming out of the dark, transcending illusion, like being reborn from something you were to something you are now. You know, the butterfly starts as a caterpillar, the dragonfly starts as a larvae in the water, and then they spl sprout their wings and they can fly for the rest of their lives. And this is finding your soul tribe, finding where the place where you belong, migrating, you could be traveling, traveling to some place where you belong. Bats are also flying animals that see in the dark. So you, and bats see from the dark into the light. You ever see a bat out of hell, right? <laughs> um, it's like the light is too much. But all three of these cards say you have a new life, a new situation, and a new, just a, a new you ahead of you. And a whole new world is opening up for you. So Aries, I'm going to go over to um, Vimeo and get all this information. I'm going to dive deep into what exactly, where you're headed. You know, is this romance? Is this a job? I have a strong feeling it's romance. And we're going to do the romance reading over on Vimeo as well. I'll see you guys there.